Aloha, beautiful love family. It is me, Lisa Trenton, it's Brown. And, okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the energies of New Earth because it's really important um, for many who are working to achieve this within themselves. So, I'm going to share uh, some information that may assist a little bit because these supportive videos are, are, are for all of us because the more people who understand, the more souls. I use the words people because we're in form, okay? But we have a human aspect, which is our ego. And, and then we have our higher self soul aspect, which is higher self soul. So used to be soul was out there too, but soul's inside, okay? Um, go inward. And, and your spirit is basically your energy. And this is going to get a bit confusing because they have different energies, if you will. Everything does. But um, for me, I identify differently than other ones do. Everybody identifies based upon their own language, based upon their own, the way they see things. And so learning to correlate our language so that we all are speaking the same language takes a bit of art within itself. Okay. So new earth is an entirely new value system. It is based upon your value in every the dimension, multidimensionally, um, here on this earth, um, to each other on a soul level. And it is based upon what you contribute, how you show up. It's based upon where you come from. If you come from unity and love, if you come from none of the lack stuff, though, um, if you're coming from a place of separation within yourself, a place of need, a place of um, agendas, that aren't spoken first because we can speak our agendas up front and be wide open with them. And actually it can be awesome. Okay. Because technically when you come together, everything has to have a purpose. When you come together, there has to be a point. Otherwise there's no reason to come together. And so everything is very different here. But this video is about receiving a return. And the reason I say this is because you know, your universe is you, your highest, higher, not really highest, because then you get into the cosmos and galactic and, and all of these other consciousnesses, and they all make up the whole, which is the oversoul and the monad. Okay. And, and so the embodiment of all of these aspects of yourself means stepping into your power fully and embracing all of these aspects and working through the distortions of each one. Sorry, my video camera is shaking because I'm, I'm sitting on a table, so I'll try not to move. <laughs> All right. You will receive proportionately a return on your investment. I'm using words here to make a point. Towards new earth. But only a percentage, if you will, because that aspect of you represents a percentage. So each aspect that you embody is another part of the percentage until it makes up the whole. The embodiment process means stepping into all of your aspects and working through every distortion that there is. <clears throat> it's a huge job, okay? T takes all of our dedication and focus and, and it has to be that important to us. All right, so let me move my arms off the table, see if that helps a little bit here. Your new earth realities are going to be dependent on how invested you are in them with everything, all of you, everything you have. Okay. If you're not willing to invest in your reality, then it's not that important to you yet, which is how it works. Now, when you get into new earth, your humanity has to return. You have to return to humanity. Re humanity has to return within you. We lost our humanity when we fell from consciousness. We separated off. Okay. So returning to unity, love consciousness, means returning to your existences, the highest vibration and the purest aspect of those existences from this space right here. It means bringing them all forth from those times of separation everywhere else into this place in the space and holding the absolute 
highest vibration of all of those highest aspects of yourself and merging them all into one and not separating off into any of them anymore. Um, each aspect has, how do I phrase this? Each aspect has distortions that have to be resolved within you that, that you have to see and work through from within you. Um, and they're, they're infinite. Okay, so it, it's a nonstop process of, of being aware of your own distortions and your skewed views and seeing them and resolving them from within you. You will always have to transcend your previous state of consciousness. You will always have to transcend um, your previous realities. You will always have to transcend your current. Let me move that to current present moment right here. You will always have to transcend your current reality and move into a higher vibration of one. You will always have to anchor more light in your physical body, hold more light, generate more light. You will always have to do more. You have a being state, which is your divine feminine, okay, and that, that, that couldn't care less about anything at all. And, and it's the part that floats, if you will. Um, then you have your doing state, but it's not the doing of the busy head and, and fill space. And it's, you know, humans love to hear their, some t themselves talk. They love to convince everybody. They want to point the finger, you know, and, and that's not what this is. Your being is where you start from. Your doing is from that space. And so everything that you get up each day and do is going to be from a very slow, deeply connected place inside of you. And you're going to get up and accomplish those things that you see need to be done. You're going to get up and accomplish those things that you're shown um, are important for your own evolution here, for your own um, embodiment here. For your own everything here. Now you you will reach a place. Your highest dimensional. Your highest timelines. Your highest consciousness of all things. Okay. Will. Return. Realities. Based upon the value. That you have established. From within you. Your value of how you treat each other. Your value of how you respect yourself, your value uh, of, of what's important to you, your value that you have established in this physical reality world, your value is returned to you. So if you're holding back, if you're, if you're playing in the judgment game, if you're scared to step into your power, if you're not putting forth a bazillion percent of, of your energy towards anchoring your higher dimensional realities into this physical here. If you are not uniting, if you are not coming together first from within and then together, then um, it, it's going to be a, a rougher, tougher ride. Um, we've actually reached a place that, that now we all have to unite in, in all new ways and come together, but there cannot be one ounce of ego involved. And human aspects don't understand their ego, not fully, because you have to have gone through basically uh, until you reach a certain level of consciousness, you're not going to understand. Um, and then the next moment you understand more. And the next time you expand, you understand more. And it's basically taking all of those understandings and that awareness and dissolving every bit of ego that you have left and not letting it come into play in what you're here to create, be, do, anchor, um, implement, whatever the case may be. Okay. Now, everyone came here to break old karmic timelines. Everyone came here. You have relationship karma. You have twin karma. You have, um, once you clear all the twin karma, then you move into divine soul union. Where, where each can come together in a very different way, where you're not playing out the karmic roles, where you're coming together in creation, where you're coming together in service, where you're coming together. Now, technically, everybody's a twin because they reflect back to you what you couldn't see, what you couldn't get to in your own cellular programming. That's the role that twins play. 
okay? Every one of us have them. They're technically, and every, every person that comes into my world is a twin, okay? Everyone that comes into my world is also a partner. We, we do this together. Everyone that comes into this is a reflection of myself. And let's say if I don't like the reflection, then I have to change the reflection, right? I have to tune to a different vibration. Now, if that person represents an old aspect of myself, I have to see this. I have to see the timeline that's running and I have to autocorrect. The timeline, it shift the vibration of the reality or see where it's not shiftable. See where maybe the other person isn't ready yet. Maybe they have to go away and go work on some things and figure things out. And then we come back again and check and see. If we're doing this repeatedly, though, then, then we're really repeating and clearing a whole lot of old programming and stuff, okay? So eventually there will come a point where you come back together. Um, we've all been creating our soul family here. We've all been, you know, for, for so, so for me, years was to teach, to teach all of those around me, to show each one of those around me in my life. They're part of my soul family, okay? And, and that's what we do out of love for each other. That's what we agreed to come here to do. But we don't all have to be located in the same physical space to accomplish what we came here. And sometimes we'll go off in different directions, sometimes for years, sometimes forever. Sometimes we'll come back together. Um, sometimes we come back together is for a short period just to, to shift, clear some programming, shift and move into the next phase. Um, and we go apart and then more of us come together and then we're, we're checking to see if everybody's on the same page. You're checking to see if everybody's aligned. You're checking to see if everybody's standing in their power. You're checking to see if everybody's ready to share and support and step into their roles and it no longer be about an individual here. Okay. So, um, the, the realities of how all of this plays out doesn't make one bit of sense to the, our human aspect. You have to really be in tune with yourself. You really have to be ready to shed all of those old identities, all of that separation that you held inside of you, all those attachments, all those needs, all those expectations, all those courts, all those things. You have to be ready to completely clear all of it and start from a place, a space, zero point field of everything is brand new. Everything is new. In this moment, everything is new. And in this moment, you're going to check and see vibrationally what realities you have present and then check and see what's appropriate and check and see what you want in your reality and what you don't check and see what's aligned, what's not check and see this is and check yourself. You got to check yourself. I got to check myself in every I have to observe myself. I have to observe everybody and everything. I have to check and see what what can be aligned, what can't be aligned, where we're repeating old whatevers. And and, and in my reality, I'm the one that has to say. No more, unless somebody else in my reality is conscious and can call it out first and say, hey, wait a minute. And say, oh, yeah, cool. This is how it works. So each one of us has to prove ourselves. OK, that we can come from the depth of the core of the soul of our being, that we can come from the place of purity and integrity and authenticity and from that re really real place inside of us. No more putting on a front. No more fake. No more trying to hide anything. No more, this is mine. No more, it's about me. No more, all this stuff's got to go. Okay, now for a while, it will have to be about you because you're establishing yourself. You're getting yourself into play. You're creating a whole new foundation for your realities as a part of the bigger picture and the whole. Now, we are at a time where tons of us have to start to come together in all new ways. And, and we're not meant to do it all by ourselves anymore. But it takes everybody getting over their own individual stuff in order for this to occur. Okay. We are at a time that it can be much easier for everybody if they do. But... Where there's any humanness, where there's any separation, where there's any ego still left, this cannot occur. So we basically have to get over ourselves, okay? We have to get over that separation within ourselves, and we have to step up and create the opportunity for things to be easier if we all work together and come together and do this together now. And 
where things are not able to align, recognize that. But but for a lot of the time, you'll see there are opportunities. Okay, those of us who hold this absolute highest space, we can create opportunities all day long. We are always invested in each other. We will always do what it takes. We will always contribute, support, be there. But if the other person isn't in a place, there's no reciprocation. And there's an imbalance that occurs. And if you've invested everything you've got in this reality and it's not coming into fruition, if you're investing your energy in something and it's not there, then you basically have to call it like it is. You have to, you basically um, have to see. Well, I've invested all of this in this, but, but the other person isn't invested yet. The other person isn't able to open up and share or support. The other person isn't as, and this becomes an investment in creating all new realities together, all of us. So you can see who's invested and who's not. You can see who shows up when they want something and that that's when that's the only time that they do. And you actually stop playing in those realities. And you allow those who are ready to share opportunities. You allow those who are ready to share resources. You allow those who are ready to, to create and inspire and come together and, and do awesome and amazing things to be in your world. Okay? This is what you call forth. This is what you allow. But you're also going to be challenged with everywhere that you are not standing in your worth. Where you don't think you're worthy. Where you are minimizing yourself where you have judgment about the way you think things are supposed to be. Because let me tell you, when you hit these really high vibrational timelines, nothing is as you thought it was. And you're going to have to get over all that judgment because you're going to start compromising yourself to make everybody else happy. And you're going to start compromising your reality if you keep playing in the old mentality reality games anymore. Still, whatever works we're using here. OK. All right. So anyway, I'm trying to do helpful videos every time I see something that maybe we'll do. I will put these out. I'll do other ones um, while we move and, and accomplish and, and, and do amazing things, too. I love you guys from the from the depth of the core and all of my being. And I'm excited for everything that everyone is going to be doing as a more step forth um, from a place of I'm ready to be a part and contribute and I don't need anything anymore. That's your angel energy too, okay? I love you. Oh, and the other thing that I do, just sharing, it is random acts of kindness constantly, everywhere I go, constantly, random, random, random. I love random. You know why? Because there's no expectation. There's no cords. There's, and, you can, and you can help so many by just doing something where you don't need acknowledgement. You don't need recognition. You don't need the pat on the back from anybody else. You step up and you say, you know what? There, here's a way that I can contribute. Here's a way that I can support. Here's a way I can make a difference. And you actually step up and you do it. You don't need permission to do these things. Okay? So, see your limits. See where you still have limits. That's a big one. See where you're not unified inside. When you are coming from a place of pure unity within yourself, you will not have a limit. You will not have a condition. And there will be nothing that you won't do in order to accomplish what needs to be done and play your roles out. When you come together, sometimes you have to do the job that's not the most awesome because until you're ready to do the job that's not the most awesome, you don't get the awesome jobs. And for me, I do all the awesome. The other day I was out back picking up duck shit. Okay. My whole backyard full of it, you know, cleaning the lanai's. They're not the most awesome jobs, but somebody's got to do them. If it needs to be done, I do it. If I need to go get a battery for the car, I go get a battery for the car. If I need to get out and work on the car, I'll work on the car. If I need to call somebody to work on the car, I'll call them. There's nothing. Okay. The only reason I mentioned cars, cause that's what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about it is, is, is humans have too many limits of what they're willing to do. I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. It doesn't fit into the reality of awesome, blah, 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 blah. You know what? And, and you don't get awesome until you've done absolutely everything. And then you get to pick and choose. Then you get to say, you know what? I think I'll let somebody else do that. And I'll do this over here. Somebody else would love to do that, given the opportunity. 
And other ones will say, they'll, they'll shirk their nose at it and go, oh, no, I don't want to do that. And you'll actually start seeing the limits that everybody has, okay? When everybody has no limits and they all come together, imagine the powerful force that that is. Imagine the things that you guys can create that we all can create when we come together. Otherwise, you're going to be doing it by yourself. And it's, it, it's, it's tougher, but it's also a necessary part of the process too because until you're willing to do it by yourself then you're not willing to do whatever it takes. So um, get willing. Be ready to step into all kinds of whatever. Be ready to do whatever presents. Look around you um, and see what needs to be done and then step up and do it. This is how it works. All right. I love you guys and I will see you again. I'll be doing more as we roll. If we get whammied and I end up um, having to do massive integration, you won't see me. Um, I'll be writing as a gatekeeper. That's part of my duties here. So when you see me writing, I'm not goofing off. I'm writing in the important things for people who care. And then the rest of the time, I'm doing the other 12 billion things that we do every day to keep things flowing and going um, as a part of all of our amazing realities here. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Mahalo.